So we talk about the European market, we talk about the role that Ireland plays in it. If I'm a company looking to potentially come into Europe, what does Ireland now offer that the UK potentially does not? Well, we talk about what we have to offer in Ireland. We will have very good and strong relationships with the United Kingdom into the future. Both of our countries are very close, but we have a key fundamental difference. 88% of Irish people, in the most recent opinion poll taken, support our membership of the European Union. We are staying within what is the biggest market in the world. It has been a huge success, membership of the EU for Ireland. And so um, Ireland represents certainty about staying in with the EU and what that means. Yes. So uh, we're not changing our relationship with the European Union in any way, shape or form. And that does mean certainty for businesses that are already located uh, in Ireland and that may seek to look to come to Europe. Uh, we, of course, have a certain number of advantages. Uh, if businesses are American, of course, there are 40 million Irish Americans. We have deep and close cultural links uh, with the people of the United States. The English language uh, is, is helpful. Uh, we have a, a very clear uh, corporation tax rate, which has been in place uh, now for more than 50 years. It's very, very competitive. Most importantly, we have a very hard-working, young, dynamic uh, population, and we're very welcoming uh, of immigrants, of people coming into our country to live and work uh, and be part of our community, because I think the Irish people are quite uh, open and friendly. And that's what that partnership with an outside organization coming in into Ireland that they can get that they really can't get anywhere else like they can here. Well, to date they can't. And I mean, the, the, the Data Protection Commissioner has an open door policy. Come and talk to us. Tell us what your products are. Tell us what, what, what you're th thinking about. Because again, one of the key elements of the new data privacy world is you've got to get your privacy policy in a design stage. It's no longer will be acceptable you know, to design your product and then think about privacy. Right, and it's got to be put at the very beginning. beginning. At the beginning. So in Ireland, you can come and talk at the beginning, uh, you know, to our, uh, our regulator uh, and get the advice you need to do what you should be doing, which is protecting your customers. So when you're going out and talking to CEOs and other high-level executives who might be thinking about investing in Europe, how do you sell Ireland? Well, again, the starting point really has to be, you know, the people, very well educated, very hard working. Um, but it is about a balance. You see, companies that choose to locate uh, in a different part of the world from maybe where they start up, and we have a very strong startup ecosystem in Ireland as well, uh, it's never one single uh, item, it's never one single sort of piece of, of what is a jigsaw of, of, different, of, of different elements. Uh, and we can now, of course, point when we're talking to new businesses to this remarkable uh, infra uh, ecosystem that we already have. 28 of the top digital companies in the world uh, have a presence here in Ireland, in Dublin, in Cork, and in other parts of the country. Many, perhaps most, will have their data and regulatory headquarters also in Ireland. Uh, and they're here for and a reason. And what does that say, exactly? Mm. What, what does that say that says there, that there is something that Ireland offers in terms of that environment and the regulations that makes it appealing and that others that they've led the way so others could come as well? Well, for me, the key word is partnership. Okay. Uh, we value above all else uh, the partnership that we have uh, with people, with businesses that come and work in our country because they're employing our people. They're yes. helping our people live their lives in a, in, you know, in, a, in a fruitful, productive way. That is what it is about for politicians. It's not about you know, improving the bottom line of a corporation in some other part of the world. It's about seeing how we can work in a partnership fashion you know, to improve the quality of, of Europe because we're very very strong that companies that come to Ireland, in many instances, they're not looking at other parts of Europe, they're looking at other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have to keep Ireland as a strong, a strong and competitive environment. And we're, we're going beyond the existing regulation. And in two weeks' time in Dublin, we have one of the largest data summits in the world uh, that's looking at the potential to show the world how there are benefits from the data uh, evolution. It's not just about privacy, it's about showing how Data and data analytics can improve our education systems, our health systems, even how we run our cities, and most importantly, how we keep ourselves secure. Because these tech companies have this remarkable intelligence and information that we need to work with and partner with to come up with solutions that will try and keep people uh, you know, as, as restricted as possible who want to commit some of these horrendous acts that unfortunately this world we're living in now sees all too often. Mm -hmm.